Alright, and today we're at a pretty interesting place for mushrooms. Last week I was here and I really wish I had my camera because there were a bunch of coyotes and salamanders and all sorts of stuff I wish I had my camera for. But I'm back this week. We gotta see what we can find. Alright, oh, now that is what I call a power up. That is a fly agaric, Amanita muscaria. Very famous mushroom, very iconic. As you can see, it looks like a Super Mario power up. The one you see in decorations all the time. A little gnome would be very happy underneath it. And this guy's huge, look at that. Bigger than my hand. And it's not the only one either. These guys aren't as big, but still huge. You know, the cool thing is, I actually dug these guys up a little bit last week when I was here. And they seem to appreciate it. Wow. That thing is massive. That boy is huge. That is really cool. You know, I was getting kind of bum walking up here because I noticed it was a lot drier than the last time I was here. I wasn't thinking I would find any mushrooms at all. Turns out my big old fly agaric buddies from earlier on were still there, just uh, taking their time growing. That's amazing. And we've got ourselves a little rough skinned meat underneath this log here. So these guys are pretty cool. Every winter when it starts to rain, you'll see them popping up, making their way down to the water. This guy was underneath a log, just hanging out where it's nice and cool and damp. And there he goes. <laughs> and under this log, we have a little baby Ancetina. These guys actually use their colors to mimic the much more toxic rough skin newt we were just looking at. And as babies, they have this cool, like, starry night pattern all over them. Really nice. I like them. And here we have cows. Including... Ooh, baby cows. Ooh, the babyest of cows. Such a baby cow. Look at this baby cow. Baby cow. Ooh, this baby cow. He's so cute. What's happening, cow? Alright, see you. 